Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video. So this video is coming pretty early in the year. Uh, I usually wait until like mid-May before I put this video out. Sorry, before I put this video out, but um, I am about to go to the beach week after next and so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my beach for my beach fragrances video early this year so that is what we will be talking about I have got I think 15 different fragrances here because I actually love uh, anything that reminds me of the beach um, and I will tell you as we go through this which ones I will be taking with me. So let's jump right in. The first one I have is a new acquisition. I adore this fragrance. I think it is so beautiful. And this is one that is definitely coming with me. This is Mancera Holidays. And this is the fragrance that I'm hoping will always remind me of this trip that we're about to take. This is like our first... Um, this is our first trip since the whole COVID thing happened. So... Um, I'm, we're all really looking forward to this one. Uh, so Mancera Holidays is coconut, bergamot, tiare flower, sea notes, ylang ylang, vanilla pod, sandalwood, and white musk. It's just beautiful. This is, um, oh my gosh, it's coconut, but it's like a really vanilla heavy coconut. So it keeps it from going into that kind of suntan lotion territory. It's just beautiful. It's a yummy, creamy, sweet coconut. The flowers aren't too much in this one. Uh, this is more about the vanilla and coconut, honestly. It's just beautiful. It's soft. It's not overpowering. It's not suntan lotion-like. It doesn't smell necessarily like the beach. It's almost, it almost leans on gourmand, to be honest. It's just gorgeous. I adore this fragrance. This is definitely the first one that I knew was coming with me and the one, like I say, that I hope after this trip, every time I spray this, it reminds me of the trip. So this is Mancera Holidays. Next, we have a beautiful summer fragrance. This one, uh, somebody, somebody told me about this one last year, a subscriber did, and I picked it up for really, really inexpensive and I absolutely adore it. This is Ocean Pacific Summer Breeze, and it's funny because I pulled this one out recently, and uh, it was sitting on my desk, and my husband had to come in here to get on the computer one night, and as he was sitting there kind of like waiting for something to load or something that he was doing, he picked up this bottle of perfume, and he smelled it, and he was like, my, I was in bed and my daughter was in here and he was like, go tell mommy that, that, that the perfume on the desk smells amazing. And I was like, which one? I've got like 50 perfumes <laughs> sitting on the desk, but it was this one. And I was like, oh, it does smell amazing. I love this one so much. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so... Uh, summer Breeze is Blackberry, Cassis, Mandarin, Tropical Fruit, Gardenia, Orange Blossom, Water Lily, White Musk, Blonde Woods, and Coconut Nectar. So this does have a little bit of coconut in it, but this is like a super juicy, fruity kind of coconut fragrance. It's another one of those beach fragrances that... It's definitely beachy and summery, but it does not smell like suntan lotion. It doesn't necessarily smell like the beach, but it smells like summer. It reminds you of like 4th of July and I don't know, just hot summer heat. It's just beautiful. I love this one. It's such a little like affordable gem. Um, yeah, this one probably won't be coming to the beach with me, but... I do still love it and I can't wait to wear it in the heat. So that is uh, Ocean Pacific Summer Breeze. Okay, the next one is one that I just uh, received from lookfantastic.com and I just talked about this, but I adore this fragrance. Uh, I had a decant of this from Simona who sent it, it over first and I fell in love. This has a beautiful, like, almost... It's almost got like a vintage -y 80s summer vibe to me. I don't know, something about it like reminds me of the 80s in such a good way. 
I don't know. I just love this fragrance. It's got like a, it's got like a pebble note in it. I mean, whatever that means, but it kind of does smell like hot sand or something. It's so beautiful. This is another summer fragrance that it definitely smells like summer, but it's not, um, it's not like suntan lotion. It's not, it doesn't necessarily smell like the beach. It's just so good. So NUX, and this is Prada Joe Le Parfum. This is orange blossom, mandarin orange, bergamot orange, gardenia, magnolia, rose, coconut milk, vanilla, and pebbles. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's super classy smelling. This is like a woman's summer fragrance. Nothing juvenile here at all. This is like a grown up woman scent. So that is Nux uh, Prodigio Le Parfum. Next, we have another summer favorite of mine. This is Terracotta from Guerlain, and I adore this fragrance. This is a beautiful white floral. This is all about the gardenia and jasmine. It's like a beautiful summer beachy white floral. Ugh, I love this. This reminds me of summer. I mean, it. the bottle looks like summer. Everything about it is just so beautiful. So terracotta is tiare flower, coconut, bergamot, jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom, vanilla, and musk. And it's just beautiful. I love it. The only complaint I have about this, it does not last very long on the skin, especially in the heat. I need to try this in cooler weather because um, I'm wondering if it maybe will last longer in cooler weather. Um, it doesn't hang on very well in the heat though, but it's okay. I have no problem just continually applying it throughout the day if I'm at home or something. So that is Guerlain Terracotta. Next we have a Dua fragrance and I love this fragrance. This is like summer in a bottle. This is called Caribbean Casino and this is one of their um, blends. It's called the Concept Series. So they'll take two like already existing fragrances like that they dupe and then they'll mix those two fragrances together to create a concept fragrance. And this one is so good. So Caribbean Casino is uh, Creed's Virgin Island Water and uh, Maison Francis Kirkjian's Baccarat Rouge 540 x straight uh, which I think, if I remember correctly, I find the x straight a little bit sweeter than the original Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. You get like the beautiful coconut from the Virgin Island Water and all the lime and the citruses in the top. But then you've got that beautiful kind of musky Baccarat Rouge 540, like with the saffron. Uh, it's, this is such a gorgeous fragrance. So Caribbean Casino is bergamot, Jamaican lime, mandarin, saffron, ylang ylang, Egyptian jasmine, white rum accord, ambergris, cedar, Moroccan almond, and hibiscus. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And let me tell you, this thing lasts for two days. Like, if you put this on, like in the morning, and then went two days without taking a shower, you would still smell like this, seriously, two days later. It is so incredibly powerful. One of the strongest, most long-lasting fragrances in my collection, hands down. Like. I will put this, I'll wear this one day and then I will take a shower and wash. And when I get out of the shower, I will still smell this even after I've washed. It's insane. So anyways, that is Caribbean Casino from Dua. Okay, so this next one is from Jean or Jean Arthas and this is called Love Generation Mystic. And this is basically a spot on dupe for um, Paco Rabanne Olympia. It is, it smells exactly like it. Now there's a hazelnut note in this fragrance though that kind of takes the place of the salt in Olympia, but they're still so, so similar. I love this fragrance. It's so beautiful. That nutty note in it, uh, it just does something. So this is like, it's like a beachy fragrance. Oh my goodness. 
I mean, it's not like a beachy fragrance. It's definitely a beachy fragrance, but it's very, very unique because it has that beautiful hazelnut note in it. So Mystic is hazelnut, orange, pink pepper, ginger, jasmine, orange blossom, vanilla, cashmere wood, amber, and sandalwood. So no ambergris, no salt, no none of those kind of salty notes that are in Olympia. The, in Olympia, that actually turned weird on my skin. So I'm glad that I have something that smells like Olympia that works on my skin. It's beautiful. So that is Love Generation Mystic from Jean Arthas. If you can find this, um, I don't know if they still have it on Fragrance Net or not, but it was really, really inexpensive too. Like at least a third of the cost of Olympia. So anyways, there's that one. Ooh, next is a love of mine. I adore this fragrance. This is Sarah Jessica Parker NYC Pure Crush. And this is a beautiful, watery, light, airy, fleshy, not sweet coconut. This smells like a true coconut. It's not like overly synthetic. I really need to get the original NYC. Not NYC. Is it the one in the red and pink bottle? Yeah, I'm trying to think because I've got NYC. Maybe it's just NYC Crush. I think that's what it is. Sarah Jessica Parker NYC Crush in the pink and red bottle. I really need to pick that up. Everybody says it's a good coconut, but I've heard some people say it's super, super synthetic smelling. This one to me is not synthetic smelling. This one is just, it's fresh, it's airy, it's watery, it's like fleshy, natural coconut and it's not sweet, which is what I love about it. It's not suntan lotion-y, it's just fresh and beautiful and it lasts forever on my skin, literally forever. So that, is, oh, let me tell you the notes in this, sorry. This is coconut, vanilla, and white flowers. I don't really get any white flowers. I basically get the coconut and vanilla, but it's very fresh. Uh, I love this. It's one of my favorite summer perfumes of all time. So that is Sarah Jessica Parker NYC Pure Crush. Okay, next I have got a Joe, sorry, a Zara Emotions or the Joe Loves uh, Zara fragrance, and this is called Amalfi Sunray. Oh my gosh, and this is a beautiful Neroli fragrance, Neroli Orange Blossom. Oh, I love this. So Amalfi Sunray is orange blossom, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. So not Neroli, it's orange blossom. It's sweet, it's yummy, it's beautiful. It's like perfectly summery and airy. So yeah, I haven't tried this one. Like I haven't given it a good wear test because I got it in the middle of the winter and it's such a summery fragrance. But I'm really excited to try it and this one is coming with me to the beach. So that is Amalfi Sunray from Zara Emotions. Okay, this next one I have is, this is like a vintage -y beach fragrance. So if you're somebody that is really into vintage, vintage smelling fragrances, which um, a lot of my older viewers really like um, the way that perfume smelled in bygone days uh, because that's when perfumes were amazing and strong and just they have a certain scent about them. I adore vintage smelling fragrances, so this is one of my absolute favorites. Now, this one's not going to be for everybody though, um, and I think somebody picked this one up on on after they had seen me talk about it in a video before, and I think they liked it just fine, but it was not anything like what they were expecting. But let me stop talking about it. This is Mahora from Guerlain. And this one, Charlotte dropped this a long time ago and broke, um, she broke my little cap off. So this will still spray, but it literally snapped off, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's completely broken, like not fixable broken. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is the most beautiful vintage style beach fragrance. Like this reminds me of, I don't even know. I mean, I can imagine somebody like in the 50s in an awesome bathing suit at the beach wearing this. 
Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I can still spray it, but um, it's definitely broken. I love this bottle. It's one of my favorite Guerlain bottles as well. It's just so stunning. So yeah, let me tell you what the notes are in this. Um, Okay, so Mahora is almond blossom, green notes, orange, tuberose, ylang, ylang jasmine, neroli, sandalwood, vanilla, and vetiver. And I love it. it. Like I say, it's got a very vintage vibe about it, but it's like you can imagine like what a vintage summer fragrance would have smelled like. And it's this. I mean, it's so, so beautiful, but don't attempt this one unless you're into vintage smells. So anyways, that is Mahora from Guerlain. The next one is, oh, I love this fragrance and I forget about it. This is a Lolita Lempica fragrance and this is a Lame. Now I do own both versions of this. I do have the EDT. This is the EDP formulation. So the EDT is lighter, airier. It's more floral. Um, it's a little bit sweeter. It's more of like a fruity, floral, sweet, easy breezy kind of fragrance. This one is a more of a beachy type fragrance. Yeah, this is definitely more of a beachy fragrance for me. This is beautiful. It has coconut in it. It's got myrrh in it. It's warm. It smells like beautiful, warm, suntanned skin. Oh, I love this fragrance so much. So... Um, El Lame is lime, bergamot, neroli, coconut, ylang ylang, jasmine, vanilla, myrrh, and sandalwood. Oh, it is so beautiful. This one you need to like coconut because you can definitely smell the coconut. But you can smell that beautiful myrrh and the sweet vanilla. Ugh, I just adore this fragrance. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful, like beachy smelling summer fragrance. It's a little bit... It's a little bit heavier too than a lot of uh, other summer fragrances. So this is one that I love to wear in the heat when I'm craving something with a little bit more body. Um, you know, when you start craving like fall and winter fragrances, but it's July, <laughs> this is this is like a great one to pull out. Mm, so I love that. That is Lolita Lampica El Lame. Okay, next is probably my most favorite alien in my collection. This is Alien and this is Alien O Sublime. Yeah, I love this one so much. Like I say, it's probably my favorite alien. Period. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So O Sublime is... Uh, lemon, solar notes, orange, mandarin orange, and galbanum, uh, jasmine, tiara flower, orange blossom, heliotrope, and cherry blossom, cashmere, white amber, vanilla, and vetiver. It's beautiful. It still smells like alien, but it's not quite as heavy on the jasmine, and it's got a lot of vanilla in it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful version of alien that can be worn in heat. I just love it. So this is Alien O Sublime, and I'm so glad I have a big bottle of it. Okay, the next one that I have is one of my favorite summer perfumes of all time, and it has been for quite some some years now. Um, this is like summer in a bottle to me. This is Tom Ford, uh, oh well, Eau de Sole Blanc. Now I used to have Sole Blanc. Um, they discontinued that one, and it's been replaced with Eau de Sole Blanc, and. To me, the difference is you, the florals are a little bit heavier in this one than in the original. The original was a little bit more pistachio heavy and a little bit sweeter. This one is a, a little bit more floral, lighter, not quite as sweet. Oh, I love this fragrance so much. I do have a um, Urban Decay Naked Perfume Oil that smells just like the original Soleil Blanc though. So I've kind of got it all covered. Plus I have the original Soleil Blanc body oil. So I'm good. I've got, you know, everything I need as far as this goes. But I love this fragrance. Like I say, it is summer in a bottle to me. 
So Eau de Sole Blanc is bitter orange, neroli, citron, bergamot, pistachio, pedigreen, cardamom, pink pepper, caraway, tuberose, Tunisian orange blossom, elaniling, jasmine, galbanum, coconut, vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and benzoin. So tons and tons of notes in it. It's just beautiful. It's slightly sweet. It's lighter than the original. You still get that beautiful pistachio and the tuberose, but the tuberose is not overpowering in any way. It's just gorgeous. This is summer to me. I love it. Um, so that is Tom Ford Eau de Sole Blanc. Next is another one I will be taking. These are the three, well, this is the third fragrance. I'm gonna take three. This is the third fragrance I will be taking with me to the beach. This is Nina Ricci Chant Extase. And this is a stunner of a fragrance. Oh, I love this one so much. This is, oh my gosh. This is like, it's got that X days or the, it's got the DNA of the whole line. Um, yeah, it's definitely got the whole line DNA, but it doesn't have rose in it. It's slightly sweet. It's summery. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So Chant Extase is raspberry, ginger, pink pepper, lemon, sea notes, jasmine, magnolia, caramel, vanilla, musk, and ambergris. You get the sweetness from the caramel. Oh my goodness, you get a little bit of saltiness from the ambergris. You get brightness from the lemon and ginger. I don't really get like the sea notes aspect of it, except there is, there's a freshness. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love it. It's again, almost teeters on the gourmand line to me, but I adore it. I cannot wait to wear this in warm weather. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm so happy I picked this up. It took me forever to pick it up. This was one that like, I would add it and then I would take it away and I would add it and I would take it away. And then finally I was like, just buy it. And Ugh, I'm so glad I did. So that is Nina Ricci Chant X Days. Okay, this next one, this is Beach in a Bottle. And it's funny because I didn't realize it until recently just how much this reminds me of the beach. This was in my spring fragrance video, which uh, I will definitely be wearing it as soon as it starts to get warm out. It's like freezing out today. But this is Dolce & Gabbana Garden and, or Dolce Garden. And this really is like summer in a bottle. This is the most beautiful coconut floral milky fragrance ever. It's so beautiful. So garden is magnolia, mandarin orange, neroli, coconut, frangipani, ylang ylang, vanilla absolute, almond milk, and sandalwood. It's such a beautiful summer beachy just warm weather in general, just a warm weather, beachy fragrance. I love it with the coconut and the almond milk. Just everything about it is stunning. So that is Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. And last but not least is one of my favorites. I adore this fragrance so much and I'm so excited to wear this in the heat. This is Victor & Rolf and this is from the Magic Collection and this is called Salty Flower. And this is such a beautiful, like beachy floral. Oh my gosh, it really is salty, um, which sometimes I like, sometimes I don't like, but I love it in this because the salt works on my skin. Oh man. It's so beautiful and it's so, it's such good quality. Oh my goodness, so. Salty Flower is Sea Salt, Bergamot, Orange Blossom, Frangipani, Tuberose, Jasmine Sombach, Ambroxan, and Moss. It's beautiful. It's really, this one is really very salty. It's like a very salty Jasmine and Frangipani. I don't get a ton of the Tuberose in this. I really get more of the Frangipani and the Jasmine. But it's sweet, it's salty, and it's Jasmine and Frangipani. It's just a gorgeous summer fragrance, or beachy fragrance, I should say. So, that is a love. This is Salty Flower from uh, Victor and Rolf. 
And that's going to be it, guys. Those are, I think, 15 different beachy fragrances that I'm super excited to start wearing now. Most of these I will not start wearing until it's like truly summertime, but because I am going down to Florida week after next and it will be warm there, uh, well, fingers crossed it will be warm. They can have some pretty cool weather in Florida sometimes, but I'm pretty sure being April it should be warm. But yeah, I'm so excited to go to the beach and to wear some of my beachy fragrances. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.